take my daughters to school every morning. I drove them every morning. We actually had a very similar problem as you all did before MoDOT fixed the road here so that you and your parents could get into school safely and so that the rest of the community also could get to work uh, safely as well. And so I remember very much, I wish that I could have made the difference when I got stuck in traffic trying to take um, either Tori or Catherine to school. But anyway, you all will have the benefit of that. And seriously, you all, it, it came from all of us and, and the community as well. The church across the street was very generous and, and holding as well. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is for us to keep all of you students safe and to keep your parents safe. Um, and it's also to make sure that we, our tax dollars, the tax dollars that your moms and dads pay to the government actually gets to come back and make a big difference in your community. And so that's what we all try to do. I'm very proud of the very small piece that, that we play, um, but it, you've got to remember that it takes all of us working together to make the government work best for you. It doesn't always work right for everybody, but in this case, it did. And so I'm proud to be here and very excited for this moment when we will cut the ribbon. Are we going to cut the ribbon outside? Or? Uh, we'll, we'll kind of look at we'll we'll the road behind outside. us. Yeah. All right. So anyway, thank you all so very much. And, thank, and I really want to thank the school. I want to thank Mayor Gore and, and the community for not only bringing this to our attention, but also for never giving up. It's a good lesson to all you young people that if you have a goal, you can get there one way or the other, but just don't ever give up because most of the time, those goals, you can achieve those goals, and sometimes you just need a little creativity. So thank you all so very much.
it was able to work on the Senate side to protect that money. But what today is all about is what was a local idea, just as Highway AD, the interchange, the new interchange between Kate and Jackson. Those all happened because leadership brought those ideas to Joanne and Kit. So we thank the local folks, Mayor, Scott, the school district, church, everyone involved. So it was an idea that started right here in Jackson, Missouri. So congratulations on this day. Thank you. Um, thank you. I, I, I was actually happy to be in Jefferson City when, uh, at, in the Capitol, when, when Senator Bond announced that he, he would not be running for, for re-election. And, and I think I literally shed a tear over that because I know what, what the Senator has, has done for, for transportation in Missouri and, and getting our fair share of the dollars back and all the great projects. That's, that's, we're going to miss, we truly are going to miss the Senator Bob. Our next speaker is uh, from the Missouri State House of, of Representatives, our, our local state representative, and I've worked with Representative Lipsky for the last five years on, and we've uh, solved some, some issues and worked together to, uh, to make things better, I think, in, in, uh, in Jackson, in Cape County, and we're I'm pleased to welcome the Honorable Scott Lipsky. Well, I'm excited to be here today, one, because it's a culmination of a lot of hard work from a lot of different people, the city of Jackson, the school district, the church, MoDOT, uh, but because I got to see some of my buddies, too, from baseball and, and football, Tanner and Scott and Brody and Jacob and Nick and Michael, and uh, I was talking to them before, beforehand, and I said, well, you know, what were you guys doing before we got here? And they said, well, we had recess, and I said, well, well, what are you supposed to be doing right now? And they said, I don't know, but we're supposed to be learning something. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk very long because I'm not sure how much you're going to learn from me. <coughs> but uh, really, this, this whole uh, process, it's great to see it come to a close, uh, or at least very shortly. Um, because believe it or not, I've had a couple emails and phone calls about the, the, the traffic issue out here in South Elementary over the years. Um, and, and I, I want to thank Bonnie Nolan and Dr. Anderson and Mark Shelton and the others that I've called about the issue that have been nothing but, but helpful uh, to explain the issue to me and, and as we talked talk, talk about different ideas about how the situation can be resolved. Um, it's never, I've always felt very comfortable in the fact that we've got a great school at South Elementary and it never was an issue of our, our kids' safety once they got to school because we've got great administrators and great teachers. Um, but there were concerns over time about the traffic situation. And I think now with, with this project coming to a close, uh, we've resolved that. And I think we're gonna see a marked improvement uh, in, in parents being able to drop the students off uh, and then picking them back up. And so when the, the stoplights get done uh, completely, uh, I think we can all look back on it and say that uh, we can feel a lot more comfortable uh, in our children's well-being uh, and take some of those other issues out of the way. So I'm very excited about it. I look forward to the, the ultimate conclusion uh, when those stoplights are fully functional uh, and hope that you kids enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Representative, thank you. Our next speaker, I'll tell you what, the city of Jackson is fortunate to uh, have Mayor Lohr as her mayor because she certainly is, uh, she certainly has a, a passion about, uh, about the community and a passion about wanting to, to make the community better for its citizens. And the city of Jackson is truly fortunate to have uh, your honorable Mayor Lohr. Mark pretty, pretty much told the story about this project, so I'm going to give you the true story. Uh, first of all, 
the reason that we were able to get this done in, uh, and I say we actually, the contractor, um, in this short timeline is because of the preparation. We met for two years every month trying to decide what to do with uh, MoDOT there. Andy Meyer was there, I believe, at every meeting, and there's some other guys that were up there at many of the meetings. Uh, we've got uh, our right there in the, that row, uh, Alderman Dale Round, Assistant Administrator, uh, excuse me, City Administrator, Jim Roach, Rodney Bowen here, uh, Jeff Bowen here representing the school, and we had our police department there, and uh, <coughs> Paul was representing them. We met about once a month for two years to get this thing all together so that it would work properly. Uh, and then, I, two things about Joanne Emerson that I've got to tell you. First of all, thank you, Joanne, for not kicking me out of your office. Because I visited her there for a while. I bet every time she came home, she said, well, that lower lady's going to be back in my office. <laughs> but she listened every time, and she truly helped us to the point that the, the money that she got for us basically paid for this. So we are so grateful for her. And then the other thing I'll tell you about her is that when we were discussing this, and she had already pretty much committed to um, getting an earmark for this project, she came out here on a hot, sweltering day. And those of you, and many of you were here, and we stood across the street, and she walked through that wheat field in one of the most beautiful designer suits I've ever seen. <laughs> stood there in weeds up to her knees so that she could see what it was really all about. And did she get an eye <laughs> Traffic truly was backed up lots. So we also appreciate that about that she was willing to come and do that. Um, so we appreciate all of that. And then uh, I did double check with the people that we actually did this project for. I asked them about it and I got it confirmed right over there <laughs> and they said they really liked this project they're the ones we did it for so we are so glad that they and their parents appreciate this project thank you. mayor thank you and our final speaker today we're uh, Jackson School District is certainly uh, privileged to be have a leader, be under the leadership of, of Dr. Ron Anderson, who uh, we took the time out of his schedule. We knew this was an issue, and, and truly, without uh, working with the school and the school being willing to to look at uh, their facilities and things that might be needed to be done on their facilities, and allow some, uh, you know, a roundabout on a school parking lot is kind of a weird idea. But to be willing to uh, step out and, and, and move forward with that, I think shows uh, shows the, the leadership that the Jackson School District has. So now, Dr. Ryan. Well, you talk about a tough assignment, you know, being at the end of the list of who just had words to say. Uh, it's pretty tough to come up here and uh, be able to manage that. But uh, you know, today is all about these young people sitting right here in front of me. And that is the safety that these young people need to have every day they come to school, including the parents and our staff sitting back there that uh, deal with these uh, traffic issues, our school buses, our transportation, and then the regular traffic that goes up and down 25 and continues to increase. In 1998, this building opened, I suspect we had around 400 plus students. And today, on both campuses, including the site across the street, which we rent from the church for classes where it's more than 750 students out here. So you can see why the traffic and staff parking and all the kind of things have increased dramatically in the last decade. And Mayor is correct, it took a, a couple of years to get a solution, but still, it would never have happened if all the entities had to come to the table. 